So hello guys, uh, this is another quality chess vlog and uh, I am Nikos and I'm very happy I am uh, with uh, Mr. Grandmaster Axel Smith from uh, Sweden. Hello Axel. Hello Nikos, <laughs> nice to talk to you. Uh, but you are not at uh, Sweden now, now right? Where, where yes, it, it, since three months uh, we are living in the south of France, we are taking the chance when we have a small kid to spend time in another country and we enjoy it a lot with the mountains and uh, yeah it's very nice here great uh, so um, we would like to talk about your new book uh, yeah the wood, woodpecker method uh, if I remember correctly you are the author of uh, actually one of the most uh, successful books in the last uh, few years it was called Pump Up Your Rating, I think. Yeah, it's correct, at least the title. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was a great book. And uh, you were talking in there about this curious thing, the woodpecker method. So, so tell, us, t tell us a bit more about that and uh, why uh, did, did you have to write a book, a whole book about that? It started uh, long ago in 2010, I think. It was Hans Tikkanen, uh, also a Swedish uh, grandmaster. Uh, now, but then he was uh, an IM and he had not improved in several years, uh, even though he he played the chess full time. Uh, and then uh, during the spring, he started to solve a lot of exercises, but he didn't really tell. Uh, uh, when I was visiting him, I could always see uh, a chess set with a lot of uh, combinations, and he also had a book books about the brain. But when I was curious and asked him about it, he didn't uh, tell anything. But uh, actually, that spring he invented this method, the woodpecker method, and he trained the some days more than eight hours, uh, just solving exercises. It was really hard work. But it also paid off because in the summer he improved almost 100 uh, ELO points and made it three GM rounds during uh, seven weeks. Okay. Uh, but still, when I asked him uh, in the autumn I wanted to do the same, he, he said, No, I'm not really, I don't really not know the method yet, so I cannot uh, talk about it. And it took several more years before he was ready to share what he had found out. Great, great. Uh, so, if I'm not mistaken, um, this method is about uh, solving a set of exercises and then uh, go back to that set a bit later? Yeah, uh, you can pick a uh, set, maybe between 200 and 1000 exercises, and you solve them. The first time it probably takes a lot of time, and then when you're finished, you go back and do it all over again. And the idea is to improve the pattern recognition. That is your intuition in chess. So you can see the, the tactics coming to you instead of really having to look for them. Okay, great. Uh, so uh, you wanted to show us a few examples from, uh, from the book? Yeah, the first is uh, a very famous one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's from the World Championship match two years ago and uh, the final game did white uh, that plays and mates in two moves okay uh, in the quality chess vlog you have to know Axel we have a tradition um, at some point we challenge the viewers to solve uh, the exercises themselves so at this point we will have uh, something in the video which will say please pause the video and try to find the solution so please pause the video and try to find it if you don't don't know it already and now since we are back uh you said that it's it's a mate in two right yeah okay and the the solution is uh, queen h6 check which is what Carlson played and kayaking resigned uh, immediately since it's made to the next move and while uh, most people may have seen this position before and but i think this is not a problem uh, yeah, if he takes with the pawn, it's rook six f seven mate, and if he takes with the king, it's rook h eight mate. But 
even though this is a well-known position, this is not a problem because that is the idea with the woodpecker method that you uh, feel the same position several times over and over again. Uh, like this is the basic education in chess. And in the book we have chosen only games with the world champions, uh, both when they lose and when they win. And I think it's not so important which exercises you choose, they should not be too difficult. But I think it's a little curious and uh, interesting to see that also in the game with world championships, uh, world champions, it's uh, often tactics that decide the games. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's, it's always tactics. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not an IM, I'm a club level player. And uh, I know that the most club level players, all they want to do is you know, to memorize openings, work on uh, deep strategic stuff. But most of the times in most of the games, the uh, small tactics are those that yeah. um, bring us the, the points. So, um, okay, it, so, so you say that even if you don't solve this exercise uh, the, the first time you, you see it, uh, yeah. when you go back after some time, you, you may actually solve it, even if you have forgotten about it. Yeah, probably you should solve more and more for each uh, time you make them. But the goal is not to make 100% correct. Uh, this is more about improving speed uh, and seeing things uh, quickly. So you should not, if you don't see a solution after maybe five minutes, you can just pick a move, uh, the move you think is best and you should have played in the game, and then go on to the next e exercise. Okay, so let's... Let's go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. So it is a uh, what's to move. It's where to move and win here. Okay, let's let's do this again. Uh, please pause the video and try to, to find a solution. Uh, how much da uh, time do you give uh, for the, the, the first time uh, people go through the exercises? Have, how much yeah, time? I think I think you have to decide on your own. Uh, maybe you should decide I'm uh, solving exercises for one hour and then you try to solve as many as you can. Uh -huh. And the next next time you do it, you should try to make it a little bit faster and uh, so on. Uh -huh. So you should challenge yourself by solving a, a little bit more correct and also a little bit faster. Great, this, this, this sounds great. So, uh, since our viewers are back, please uh, tell us what is the correct uh, continuation. Here, uh, I think uh, to, see, to find a solution here, you should first try to look for mate on p7, a normal theme. So maybe you can look for the move uh, bishop a6, but then you and you notice that if the king takes queen a8, it's almost mate, but okay, it's not. You lose the queen. Yeah, it depends. It. But this is a theme uh, you may, might have seen before. So the solution here is to start with rook e7. Oh. So you are threatening a... Yeah, and black cannot defend uh, in any other way than taking. King b8 is met by bishop a6, and if he takes, it's also bishop a6. Now there is only one way to defend the mate, and then it's mate anyway. Okay, so the, the first move is a classic uh, deflection. Is it called deflection? Yeah. I think? But I think first you should look for the mate on b7 before you see this move with e7. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this one, the first time you solve it, uh, maybe it takes some time. The, the second time it will uh, surely go faster. But even though you remember that rook e7 is the correct move, you should calculate all the way to the end. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the, this is this is very important actually. That uh, don't you know uh, understand why the, the rook seven wins. I mean, try to remember all the sub variations and all the yeah. And in the book, uh, we always give one point if you have the first move correct. But then we have you have to see this and this to get the full point uh, from the, from the exercise. I have to say that this is another problem for the club players. We uh, many times we, we see an idea, but we don't uh, calculate all the side variations. So, yeah. 
Uh, okay, let's go to the next position. Okay, I just picked this one because it's curious that it's Tehran and Carlson. They will play a interesting match this autumn. And it also shows that even in these high-level games, it's uh, simple tactics that start to decide games. And okay, white is to play and win. And, and play the best, best move. Yeah, and once again, I know about the game, but when I'm training uh, in this position, I have to calculate again all the side variations, even if I remember the first move, right? Yeah. But okay, the, wood, the woodpecker method, of course, you should always calculate, but it's more about uh, pattern recognition to find the, the idea than to calculate. But always you have to calculate, this is for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take your time and then uh, we will be back. Yeah, and uh, since we are back, as I remember, the, the first move was knight x7. Yeah. And okay, it's quite, uh, it, it's not many side variations here. In the game, uh, Kelsen moved the rook and uh, Tehran I it's, it's a pawn retreated with the knight and he had a, a pawn more. It's not obvious that you win because he like, still has the bishop pair, but he won the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but the idea is, of course, if he takes the knight, e6 check, and next time the rook takes d7 and white will win. Okay. Sure. Uh, for me, this is excellent uh, training. Uh, I know from my experience as a coach. Uh, how many exercises are there in the book? I think there are more than thousands, right? M more than yeah. I I don't remember exactly. Maybe it's twelve hundred or thirteen hundred. Uh, but you should not make all of them. You should. The goal is maybe you uh, take two weeks. You solve for half an hour per day, and then you have a set. And then you try to make it faster and faster, and finally you should try to make all of those exercises in one day. Uh, and so wow. taken on that meant like 10 hours for a day. Uh, it's not possible for everyone to have this time. No, I mean, if you really, really want to get better, you, you have to, to work. I mean, this yeah. is, this is uh, the, the idea. Yeah. But back then, I, I started myself with this method in 2012. And then I had one book with about 1,000 exercises, and it always took a lot of time to, to solve them. I made it maybe every three or four months. But then I had a dream that one day I will try to make all of them in one day. Uh, and I think it came in 2015, in the end of the year. It was maybe the tenth time I solved the book. But then I, I was in the basement in our apartment, and uh, yeah, I started early in the morning, and then after 22 hours, I had finished all of them. Wow. Did, did... So after that, I thought, okay, I will never make any exercise anymore. But <laughs> after a few weeks, I was on again. Did, did you have any breaks in those 22-hour uh, period of solving? Okay, I stayed in that room for the whole period, and my wife came with food. Uh, but I was up walking a little bit, just not to be sitting all the time. So I had some five-minute breaks. Wow. Wow. Uh, so, okay, obviously you can uh, do this method uh, using any any book with tactics, right? But, yeah. Uh, but, but in your book you, you explain uh, with details uh, how this method works and... Uh, yeah, there, there are a lot of people that have copied uh, Tikana's method. I, I'm one of them. But I think no one has managed to put in as much, much effort as he did, because he made a lot of long days during the whole spring. Uh, but there are a lot of people that were successful with it anyway. But I think when you have his uh, instructions, you can make it a little bit more exact and uh, get even better results from it. Wow, Axel, this is uh, amazing news for our readers. I think it's, it's for me, I know uh, from my experience as a coach that this is an excellent way to work. Uh, yeah, you, you simply have, have to put the work. I mean, it's, yeah, and, it's, it's no, no, no escaping. And also, uh, nowadays I'm not so ambitious as a player. I don't play uh, very much, but I, I play the Swedish Championship uh, once a year, and this is the, a really funny tournament. I like it a lot. And when I prepare for this, uh, 
the only thing I'm doing, uh, the, the most important thing I'm doing is to do these exercises uh, again. And I really like because uh, I've seen those solutions uh, maybe during a lot of years. And when I see this position I, again, I think, oh, here is some some idea. And I'm very happy when I find it. So even though I've seen the position many times, for me, it's a pleasure to find the solution again. Okay, uh, Axel, I, I did a mistake in the start of the video because I didn't mention that uh, you have uh, written another book, actually, an opening book, which is called E3 Poison. And uh, yeah. from my perspective, uh, everything you have written is, is very practical. I mean, very easy to follow, but not easy in the sense that uh, you, you don't have to put the work. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It mo most with this book, I think the woodpecker method. Because there is an introduction. I don't know. It's 15 pages or something like this. When you learn the method and you learn the technical ideas, but after that, it's really work that is needed. But and I think uh, in the in the start, it will you will get a, some resist a resistance. It's not so easy to put in a lot of effort to solve combinations. But after some time, you get used to it and you even enjoy it a lot. So, yeah, if you just uh, manage to get through the first few days or few weeks, then then it's time for the payback. Okay, to, to tell you the truth, I'm really waiting for your book to, to start myself uh, doing the woodpecker method. And maybe in the future... I, I will remember what you said. Yeah, and uh, definitely in a future uh, vlog, I will tell uh, the results. Yeah, good. Uh, okay, Axel, uh, thank you very, very much. And uh, hope to see you again with more books. People seem to like your books. Very practical, very useful for uh, club-level players. Thank you. Bye-bye.